Right, welcome to this little video of a trip round town. We start off parked in the cycle park at the bus station. So I'm just going to reverse the bike off the parking stand here. And as we turn you can see the entrance exit to the bus station and there's some of the town's new tiger costumes there. We're just going to head off up Albion Street here, which is no entry and one-way except cycles. So it's a one-way street and just have cars possibly coming against us, but it's wide enough you can get out of the way. And we're just going to turn left here and go off over another Toucan cross here, uh, Tiger Crossing. What you can't see there is there's actually a bus let us cross, and we go into one of the car parks, and we just go around the surface car park at the edge here. I'm not wild about this but it does allow us to connect up some of the town centre that you can't otherwise without going through the pedestrian uh, area. That car there had overshot the giveaway marking but let us go. This car stops in good time. Now at this giveaway marking here we just turn right into Paradise Lane actually crosses this road, Old Sunway. Cars shouldn't really be parked obstructing Paradise Lane, but never mind. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess of signs and people walking and bollards, so we'll just go over to the corner and slow down a bit. Okay, they're out of the way. So we now pull out into Norfolk Street. This is one way, but it really is another one that could be two way for cycling but it isn't at the minute so that's something we'd like to change and we spin round and we go off into yet more car parks Just weaving around a bit here because this road has been patched. It gets quite heavy traffic because it's the entrance to the car parks and uh, road repairs aren't really particularly cycle friendly. I'm just going to turn a left now into uh, Austin Street, past the three bridge housing offices on the left, uh, sorry, on the right there, and the council offices on the left. Now we turn left into Chapel Street and on the right here the Lattice House, currently a pub, very old building. We're just going to turn right just after that and then that will get us back into the uh, main town streets. This here is Market Lane. It's a no through road except for bicycles. It's a very useful little connection. The end section doesn't actually have a footway, so people walk in the road, but that's fine. We're not going fast. It's blind at the end here, so we have to slow right down. And it's fine, so we go off through and across the uh, cars parked on the Market Square, Tuesday Marketplace. Now, we're actually riding alongside the carriageway just here. When we pull out onto the carriageway, the cyclist leaves it a bit late and gives the hatchback kittens. So we're now heading down King Street. See my reflection. I've got a little bit close, so I'm going to back off there. All of this is 20 mile an hour, much of the town centre is 20 mile an hour zone, so it's not really too much of a problem mixing with cars. Somewhat surprisingly, halfway down the road, for no good reason, the cyclist jumps off onto the pavement. I 
I guess they felt a bit pressured by the uh, hatchback that was riding their back wheel after the uh, incident on the edge of the marketplace. Now I turn into Perfect Street and the cyclist has pulled off the pavement onto Perfect Street. Little jump in the video now because there's no point seeing the uh, park up. We're heading off out Perfect Street, there's the customs house ahead. And I just go off at the right, and these are our cobbled streets. And for some reason, King Killing cobbles are very, very rough. And then I hop up onto the quayside and promptly nearly crash the bike. So we're now on the quayside. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the town streets, and uh, I'll post some more videos as and when I can record them.